crikey, she's a beauty. Uh, hey, YouTube land, this is Dicanders doing a, another action figure review, and this is something I've been waiting for for a while. Um, I'm quite excited to get, and it's the Lanard Toys Rampage the Movie figures, and this is Lizzie. Uh, well, originally, if you know anything about the old arcade game which was called Rampage, or the same title. It was basically a mash and bash and ro uh, robot, mash and bash and monster game. We had three monsters beating the crap out of a city kind of scape, kind of similar to how they designed the Wreck It Ralph game, where you had buildings and they just kind of smacked the side of them until it fell apart. And the whole aim of the game was to do it before the military basically killed your monster and stopped them. But um, there was three main monsters. There's been several games since with additional creatures that they added in, but the three main original ones was Ralph, the Wolf, uh, George the Gorilla, which was basically supposed to be a King Kong knockoff, and Lizzie, who was supposed to be the kind of uh, Godzilla knockoff, basically. It was Lizzie the Lizard. But in this iteration that they're doing, it's she's been basically be rebranding herself as a crocodile or a alligator. I think it's crocodile. Alligators, I think, have the longer snout. I could be wrong on that. Um, it could be the other way around, but I think it's the um, alligator, or sorry, the crocodile is the shorter snout one. Anyway, on to the box first. So I'm just going to move Liz E back for a moment and go on with the box. So she comes in this big window-style box packaging, which basically... I just move the accessories that she came in. So you have an image of all three monsters on the left hand side. So you have George, uh, Ralph and Lizzie. This is the Briggs City Brawl sets. So there's several sets in the line. This is the larger of the Lizzie figures. There's two versions of Lizzie, two versions of Ralph and there's three versions of George. So you have like a Mega George, a Big City Brawl version George and then uh, I think it's at the Contaminant, uh, genetic contaminant version, I think it's called, or the, you know, where they get infected basically. So, on the box, you have jaw chomping action, you've got the Rampage movie logo up on the right hand corner. If I flip the top of the box, you've got all three monsters again, and then just the Rampage movie logo on the side. It just continues on the artwork. So, you've got the continuation of the artwork on this side, jaw chomping action. You have another bit of a window box on this side, and it has ch chomp action. And then on the back, you have more info, which is subject Lizzie, image of the creature inside the box, uh, spike attack, which is the tail, ready to destroy, and then you have a brief bio of the movie. So basically, it says primatologist, primatologist Davis Okai, uh, Oki, Oki I think is how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. The guy's played by The Rock, so um, I'm not sure how you pronounce the last name from. A man who keeps people at a distance shares an unshakable bond with George, an extraordinarily, an extraordinarily intelligent silverback gorilla who has been his um, in his care since birth. Who had a rogue genetic experiment gone awry, mutates this gentle ape into a raging creature of enormous size. To make matters worse, it's soon discovered there are other similar, similarly altered animals. Uh, as these newly created alpha predators tear across North America, destroying everything in their part, Okoi teams with a discredited genetic engineer to secure an antidote. Fighting his way through an ever-changing battlefield, not only to halt a global catastrophe, but to save the fearsome creature that was once his friend. And then it's just repeated in different languages. I think the other languages in on this box is French, because you have like um, Genetic Containment Division, and then you have Division de Confinement Genetique, and then you have the Grandes Batelier Urbain for the Big City Brawl. So, enough for the box. Oh, and you just got legalese and stuff like that. And on the box bottom, it shows how to connect the tail, because the tail is actually separate in the box. But uh, onto the figure itself. So, I'll start off with accessories, and Technically, you could count the tail as an accessory since it's a separate piece, but the only accessory she comes with is this guy. A poor sap made from a coarse elite figure for her to munch on. And what's even sadder about this poor figure is he came with no weapons. The poor guy has nothing to defend himself with other than being a meal for the big giant crocodile. 
So basically, with the jaw chomping action, if I can get it into focus, I'm gonna have to do it this way because you just clump and he basically gets eaten. Um, the way it works, unfortunately my review station is a little bit too small for her. She's very long. In fact, uh, I don't have a measuring tape with me, so unfortunately I can't judge how long she is. But I'd say she's at least a t maybe a foot, foot and a half in length. So she has ch jaw chomping action as indicated in the box. Where you press this button that's kind of hidden just above the back of her neck. And you press down and it basically does jaw jumping or jaw jaw chomping i don't know why i can't pronounce it and basically these fins move forward and back which is pretty cool and you can sort of lock it into place there is points where the jaw will actually lock open if you wanted it to look like she's kind of raging charging forward with the jaw open you can do it it's just a little bit it's i don't think it's designed specifically to do it but there is there we go as you can see oops sorry nearly knocked over my camera there's little sections where it will just hit and stick and you can have it that, do that then for her tail which is the spike attack it's basically just on a single hinge and it just moves backwards and forwards and she can waggle her tail and she can smack things with it so Cortinary Eric soldier guy and smack him with it whoa he went flying basically you do it manually it's not an actual there's no actual button or anything to press for it and she doesn't actually have a, a gimmick with it it just moves back and forward now other articulation points is her legs are articulated they can move for all four can move forward and back now she is designed to be standing in a specific pose but you can move the legs now unfortunately she doesn't have any articulation in the ankles even though it looks like she does there is these slits across the ankle but it's only where the figure was assembled i think the legs are two part maybe a, a single part mold and then the bottom feet are sort of a slightly more rubbery um plastic so they're just gen uh, just generally sandwiched together and glued in place so just for scale comparisons she comes with generic soldier guy here is one of the more newer core figures. So the soldier guy that she comes with, as I said, is made from a core figure. And they actually did they well, they actually did a really cool job on him. I actually quite like how he's painted up. He has this kind of um I wouldn't say is it desert desert camo, kind of a urban camo on him. He has this kind of slight camo paint on him, he has the brown, has this olive kind of webbing or gear now unfortunately just like a lot of the Leonard figures he's not painted on the back unfortunately I don't have any other Leonard figures at hand to show but usually what they do is they'll paint the front but they won't paint the back section on them so it is a bit of a shame I do like the head sculpt on it I like the way he has the kind of headset kind of molded on but it's really cool and then for another size comparison here she is just move these guys off to the side here she is with a figure that would complement her quite nicely which is the croc master gi joe 20 fit figure or even if you have the older croc master figure the o-ring version it will look pretty cool with her as well kind of like a genetic experiment done by dr mindbender on one of croc master's precious pets basically you could do some nice uh diorama scenes with that um, I do have a few other size comparisons so I have one of the Jurassic Clash Leonard dinosaurs which is the Triceratops you can see the scale of Lizzie to that this is one of the more recent um, Leonard figures from the Jurassic Clash line you can see she towers over that dinosaur which is a fairly nice sculpt in its own self, uh, in itself, and I've done a review for this as well. So if you check back on my videos, you'll see a review for it. And then the other thing I have, there's also another Lanard creature. They seem to be kind of knocking it out of the park with them. Is the T Mega T Rex from the was it the 
I think there's a Mega Rex playset. There was another Jurassic Clash set. And basically, you hear the roaring action and chomp. He does have screw holes on one side, he doesn't have them on the opposite side. But uh, you can just see the scale. He scales up pretty nicely to her. Uh, he's a good bit taller, but he's about near, he's a little bit shorter in length from head to tail. Lizzie's actually a, good, a little bit, just that little bit longer than him. But you can see the scale between the two of them. So overall, you see he's a really nice figure. Also, if you have kind of leftover parts for custom figures, like heads and arms and stuff, she actually chomps on them quite nicely. Oop. So she can make some pretty nasty looking things if you wanted to go all out and uh, make her look like she's eating people. So there you go, guys. Quick video review for the Rampage Lizzie Big City Brawl figure. Um, I'll just move her generic dead guy back here again. So he's a she's a really cool figure. Um, I'm assuming it's a she because if I remember correctly, I, she was a she in the video game. Could be completely wrong. Could be he that could completely change the gender of the, the creatures in it. Um, but I'm just going with what I remember from the video game. So, there you go guys, quick video review for the Lanar Toys 2018 Rampage movie action figures. I hope to get some of the other sets, in fact I'm hoping to get all the sets for this um, movie, I do quite like them. Um, as I said, they seem to be knocking it out of the park with the sculpts for the creatures. I know some of the other creature sculpts are a bit more static and have maybe one or two kind of action poses. Or action features but this one is one of the best but overall it's a really cool figure so there you go guys hope you enjoyed this review and as i said in my videos please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my channel um hopefully i will get more video reviews done over the course of the coming weeks with the rampage figures cheers guys